for this moment. Sparta. All that action that you're going to see with the combat scenes on screen, uh, the, the full scale and scope of the battle at the end of the, of the video, none of that's really going to have any impact until we add all the sound effects and the original score. We really don't even start looking at sound and audio until we're about 99% locked down on all the different elements of the video. This means we know exactly what actions are going to happen when, when every sword is going to impact every shield, even when every arrow is going to enter the frame. Once we're pretty confident that we have that, then we turn to our audio partners. Some elements where we want to really bring the viewer closer into the action, for that we're going to want to emphasize sound effects. For other parts where we want to get an emotional feel or if we want to make room for their narration, that's where we're going to have the music come up a lot more. Working on this was a lot of fun, but part of the reason that it all came together was some of the people that we work with. The difference between writing music for a trailer and writing music for film, I mean, even though this looks like a, a clip from a movie, it has to be treated like a trailer, it has to be continuously building feeling and, and mood, um, you know, to go with the excitement, to lock people in, to make people keep watching. And that's part of the, the trailer world, that's part of the rule set when you're working on trailers. I use some live instruments for this trailer, um, for the opening and the ending of the trailer that I'm going deep into Greek kind of territory, and I wouldn't even categorize as a typical Greek instrument, but uh, the guitar viola is, is what we're using there, and uh, it's kind of like a, a, a hybrid of that instrument. It's only there from the beginning and ending, and the rest of the trailer I was more focused on, you know, supporting a, you know, an action sequence with lots of fighting. Um, so from the get-go we were aware that there was going to be a ton of, you know, sword sounds and screams and, you know, the Spartans going to war and, um, you know, that, that type of feeling and that supported with uh, lots of percussion instruments and drums making this big sound of a battle. With this trailer, I'm really proud of the fact that we made it sound huge and impactful and dynamic while using sound effects that felt real and visceral and meant something very specific to the player. So we really wanted the player to have that very same experience of what a soldier would have. We're standing there, it's peaceful, there's anticipation, we know something is about to happen, and then shoo, here comes the arrows, it's time for battle. One of the things we use for that is a furniture dolly. It's about five feet tall, it's made out of metal, and it has a lot of loose parts to it in addition to being made out of metal tubing, which tends to have that pingy kind of metallic quality to it. And when you hit that thing, it sounds really ear-piercingly disharmonious. This is sharp, it's dangerous, but that was not a good hit. That was not a hit that's gonna do any damage. When you're trying to invoke the player's imagination of what it means to stand on a battlefield, sound effects are really a powerful, powerful tool in making that happen. Working on this project was really exciting for us. We got to try a lot of risks that we didn't feel comfortable taking before. We got to try a lot of new techniques and um, we couldn't be happier with the end result. We think this is one of the best things we put out. Um, we're already starting work on a couple new cinematics for some of our older games and we will of course be coming out with new material for all of our upcoming titles, so definitely come back and check us out on this YouTube page. Thanks for joining us.